I'm Ben Painter. I'm an artist and professor for Rutgers University, and this class is Cyanotype 101, Making Your First Sun Print. Uh, it's possible you've never heard of cyanotype before, in fact it's very likely. Uh, cyanotype is an alternative photographic process, uh, and so in this course you're going to be learning how to do the very basic process with a kit you can buy uh, for just a few dollars on somewhere like Amazon or a craft store, and uh, we're going to be walking through the, the fundamentals of that process. Later on, I'll be doing more classes that add more skills and more possibilities to what you can do with cyanotype, but in this course we're just going to be making a few simple prints. Uh, so I love Cyanotype, I've used it a lot, and uh, I love experimenting with it, and so I wanted to tell you three reasons why I think you should give Cyanotype a try. Reason number one is that it's fun and easy. Uh, it's an alternative photographic process, it's very hands-on, but it has a very low bar of entry, meaning that there's not very much specialized equipment, uh, and it's very forgiving, it's very easy to do in your home. Uh, so I think it's a great way to kind of dip your toes in the water of alternative photographic processes. Uh, number two is that it's connected to the history of photography. Okay? So when you are learning how to do cyanotype, you're also learning about uh, the history of this process and how photography itself was invented back in the mid-1800s. Uh, so I really like that aspect of kind of connecting to the history of where photography came from. Uh, and the third reason why I think you should give cyanotype a try is uh, that the sky's the limit for what you can do with cyanotype. Uh, we're going to start off with a very simple project in this class, but as we move forward in other classes, I'm going to be adding some more advanced skills of how you can be printing on other surfaces, how you can be printing um, objects or negatives or all kinds of things, um, and it's a very fluid, very forgiving process, and so it's great for experimentation, mixed media, all those types of things. So we're going to be laying the foundations here and then really expanding on that later. In the next video, we're going to be looking at what cyanotype is exactly, explaining just some of its defining characteristics, and also looking at a short history of cyanotype, all the way back to its very beginning up to today, how it's being used. So I'll see you there.